And finally, our green goodie for this evening. It's a nifty little app to bring the wild to the palm of your hand. It's Straight Nature's Phone Ranger. Rob McLean on the line to explain exactly how it works. As with any phone app, really, you download the, the app from your app store and it's available for Apple or Android and then it's on your phone. And then when you're on your game drive, rather than you know, normally on a self-drive um, game drive, perhaps the dad or someone in the car has a, a field guide and they're you know, looking into sighting and maybe they're picking out a couple of facts from that field guide. And that field guide is quite factual, quite technical. You know, maybe it's talking about the sizes and weights and Latin names of the animals in front of you. We want to bring that to life. So um, you can actually use the app um, to play audio through your um, on the phone, and that can actually be played through the car stereo so that everyone in the vehicle can actually be learning together um, rather than just one person reading out snippets. Um, and it's also it's, it's trying to recreate the atmosphere and the experience of having a ranger, and we call him the best ranger in the world, in the vehicle with you. Um, so they're kind of telling stories, and the idea is they're deciphering actually what might be going on in front of you. So if you're looking at a sighting of perhaps lions on a kill, they will be explaining the hierarchy of the lions and, and what's likely to be happening in front of you. So it, it's it's all about trying to recreate the atmosphere and the sense of having a ranger in the car with you rather than just quite a dry experience of of reading a book. Yeah, absolutely. So I suppose it's got two applications really in, you know, you can either take it on safari with you and you can use it for identification purposes or sort of, I don't know, upstage the the lilac breasted roller bird with your own tweets or, or whatever or you can take it say you're sort of driving through a very dry patch maybe you're in the middle of the Karoo and there's not a whole lot to see you could be listening so it's it, a two-way thing is it absolutely yeah it's 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 educational and entertaining so certainly we're finding people are using it between sightings as well as at sightings and that's nice because because it can be played on the phone or it can actually be flipped played through the car stereo then everyone can be engaging in it and learning at the same speed and at the same time. So it's especially good for families um, to to enjoy. As you said, there are many quiet periods when you're on a yeah. game drive. Yeah. So I'm driving along in the Kruger Park and suddenly in the bush I see two great big tusks coming out at me and it's and it's an elephant and, uh-huh. and it's maybe it's flapping his ears and I'm thinking, hmm, um, what 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 would I find on the app and what's it going to tell me? So there are several different parts of the app. There is the audio piece, which I've mentioned, which is a, a kind of a commentary on what you're likely to see at the sighting. And they'll explain, you know, kind of elephant behaviors and, and um, what to look out for when you're watching elephants. But also within the app, there's photos and there's written information, for example, you know, what to be wary of, um, you know, signs of danger with an elephant. Um, so there's a written component and, and an audio component as well. Okay. I mean, do you, do you also get soundtracks of of elephants? I mean, say you're you you know we're back in the back in the Karoo and it's all deathly quiet and there's nothing going on. Will you be getting the soundtrack as well of of, of the elephants of, actually trumpeting? Yeah, yeah. Y- yes, uh, as part of the audio, not for all the animals, but most of them, including elephant. There is uh, a recording of the elephant trumpeting or the leopard soaring or the lion roaring, etc. There are all sorts of things that I'm just thinking, you know, when you go out with a ranger, they tell you all sorts of wonderful little snippets that are either true or not, maybe not so true, <laughs> but, you know, fascinating little details, you know what I mean. Have you got those sort of those sort of minutiae as well? Exactly, and that is that actually was the inspiration. The inspiration was, you know, the fireside chat at the BOMA after a drive where the, the ranger actually tells you his, his anecdotes and his stories about when he was chased by this or, he, you know, as you said, true or not true. But they're actually, that's the difference between being on a guided drive and, and just doing a self-drive. So we, we really, in terms of the audio, we tried to really bring that in, the stories, the anecdotes, um, as if it was a, a relaxed ranger talking to you. Um, and also, you know, within the design of the app, so the it's designed as if you were in a, a Land Rover, in a Landy. So you turn the steering wheel to rotate through the, the photos and you press play on the Landy's old stereo to actually play the audio. So we're trying to, to the extent that you can, in ultimately an electronic device, mm-hmm. trying to recreate the sense of 
as you said, um, storytelling and, and the minutiae that you do get. Yeah, so it's a sort of virtual safari. I suppose you could be driving in the middle of a hill, hill brow and be <laughs> having this wonderful safari experience. It's quite exciting. <laughs> in terms of educational material, uh, mm. you know, we're very concerned that a lot of our animals are threatened, poached, or do I need to tell you, all those sort of things. Is there a sort of, uh, is there that aspect as well? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's lots of conservation information in the app. So there's, you know, the status, the environmental status of the animals, the distribution and the threats to them. Um, but, you know, lots of books and apps have that. Where I think it is a bit different is we just try and make it a lot more approachable to mm. to um, to families, to people who are perhaps new to the bush or, or don't have that knowledge because it's fun to play with the app in its own right. And also the audio makes it all a lot more accessible we were actually we're demoing the app at a book fair recently and the, the big crowd of kids came around just to actually play with the you know the steering wheel within the app of the design yeah, and, and play with the audio so especially for people who are new and perhaps those who are a bit a bit younger it definitely um has an educational and therefore a kind of a education around conservation angle. I'm just thinking of those little kids and everybody sort of really, um, they're up there for the big five, you know, the things that roar and the, the great big things. Yeah. How many species can you accommodate? I mean, in, in any of our parks, there are lots and there's the little five as well as the big five. Do you go right down to the itty bitty things that are also interesting? They are very interesting, but actually we decided to to keep the list a bit smaller and do it better because otherwise the app becomes very big. Yeah. Um, you know, in terms of how long it takes to download. So we've actually only gone for, I wouldn't say like the, the big hitters, because we've tried to include some of the lesser known animals in there, but we think there are interesting stories about. But it's not it's not a comprehensive, you know, every single yeah. bug you'll see. We we haven't done that. You know, maybe th- there's future versions and it, yeah, you know, additions to, mm. to, to be done. But no, we try to just focus on doing what we did really, really well. Yeah. And somebody who does what they do really, really well is Clive Walker. And I think that you've based it very much on his book, on his Science of the Wild book. Who actually voices this? Who is the, is it his material? And But who's speaking? Yeah, so the, the, the content of the app, so the, the things that you see and read, is all based on Clive Walker's Science of the Wild book, which is, you know, very famous, almost seminal. The audio is voiced over by... Patrick Lister, um, who works with Eco Studios, and Patrick was himself a game rager for a long time, worked in Malamala and Classery, um, and he does voiceovers for a lot of wildlife documentaries. So he was our kind of first choice in terms of actually putting a voice to the content. Rob McLean, well, if you'd like to find out a little bit more about that handy app, it's www.phonerangerapp.com, Phone Ranger app. Com. Well, that's it for the Enviro Show tonight. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks very much for the team. I'm Nancy Richards, and next up it's time for the...